Could you be sitting any further away from Chase and still be in the same room? It doesn't have to be rhabdo. The swelling could also be caused by deep vein thrombosis. She has allergies, could be anaphylaxis, or some heart condition that we don't... It can't really be any of those things since it's rhabdo. I know it's rhabdo. Foreman knows it's rhabdo. Deep in his heart, even Chase knows it's rhabdo. Isn't it annoying when everybody in the room knows something you don't? I'll test for everything. He's an ass. Contrast is running. She already thinks I'm cheating on her. Maybe this is House's way of telling you to talk to her. Sure. How was your day, honey? By the way, I killed someone. If I tell her, that's dumping a burden on her forever. OK. <sighs> Two days away. You think I should pack Bali? You can't leave. You lit a fuse, you need to watch the bomb go off. The bomb was gonna go off in its own if you kept quiet. So now you either have to come up with a convincing lie or tell her the truth. Your choice. Chase went to the gym five times this week. Okay. One of those times I followed him. What? I followed him. And yes, I know how humiliating that admission is. Where'd he go? The gym, that time. But I know that something- I'm stopping you right there. This is a conversation you should be having with Chase, not me. I've tried having this conversation with Chase. No sign of tears. It's not bulimia. Is he having an affair? No. Why should I believe you? You shouldn't. You should believe him. Blood constricted her heart muscle. She's on antiarrhythmics, but we don't know how long we can keep her stable. You seem to be triggered by stress. Her parents suggested her blood pressure drop during the barium swallow. Which up to 50 systolic in three minutes. Rules out chronic conditions. Acute conditions limit us to toxins and infections. It could be anything. Gas leak, arsenic in the wallpaper, fungus in the shower. I'll get samples from her room in the restaurant. Talk to our little gossip girl. He needs to know exactly where she's been and what she's done the last 24 hours. Well, she didn't get us. She got out in the lobby. She could have gone anywhere. Let's start with for how long. Fast forward. Stop. Rewind. Back. Wherever she went, she was only gone for like five minutes. She's holding something. It's Keener's journal. He must have left it in the restaurant that night. She went back, claimed it belonged to her. She was looking for an excuse to knock on his door. Um, I don't mean to be rude, but I'm expecting a notes call from LA. Can we make this quick? Did Jordan come to your room the other night? Let me put it another way. We know Jordan came to your room the other night. <sighs> Look, I've tried to be helpful. I don't know why you want to pretend I'm lying to you, but this is getting too weird for me. We need me. to search your room. You don't, because she was never here. Allison, calm down. You would cover your ass at the expense of someone's life? We know she brought up your journal. That was helpful. He'd be crazy to risk his marriage for a one-night stand with a teenager. Sensible people only risk their marriage for something more serious. I'm not having an affair. We're talking about Keener. Fine. He doesn't care about his marriage. What about his career? Statutory rape would ruin it. It's admitting statutory rape that could ruin it, which is why we'll never hear the truth out of him. Rufi's OD explains all her symptoms. We should start treating her with flumazenil. It's not Rufi's. She's bleeding behind her kidneys. We're transfusing another two units packed red cells, but she keeps bringing leaks. That looks like a toxic reaction. Keener must have given her something. The guy's a comic book writer, not a drug dealer. There's a lot that wouldn't show up in a standard talk screen, but he's never going to tell us the truth. We're not going to get the truth out of her, either. We will if we drug her. Amobarbital would suppress her thalamus. She's on antiarrhythmics. Amobarbital could stop her heart. She's already dying. You're angry at me. You're taking it out on this guy because you think he's lying to you too, and you're going to kill our patient in the process. We need to know the truth. We should call House. Yeah. He'll recommend we take the cautious approach. Take down the bags. It's too soon to tell if the meds are going to... Not the meds. It's the blood that's killing her. What's everybody doing? You're stunned, right? I mean, blood? She's had internal bleeding. She needs the blood to... Is that the mom? I got a good comeback if it's the mom. Yes, I'm her mother. Sure. She needs blood. 
you want to kill her. Then you'd have nobody left to neglect. Great plan. Your daughter has Vibrio vulnificus. Courtesy of a few scrumptious oysters on the half shell. I didn't eat any oysters. Thus proving that she did. Boy, that's neat. A hundred other people ate those oysters. I ate Is that the dad? I got a good comeback. It's Chase. Oh, thought the dad might have been Australian too. There was nothing wrong with the oysters. All oysters have Vibrio, but almost no one has hemochromatosis. It'd give her a unique susceptibility to Vibrio. Caused the swollen joints. It got attributed to bulimia. So she got supplements. With iron. Which overcooked the liver, which caused bleeding. More blood, more iron, more bleeding, more blood. Is she going to be OK? Only if we give her a high dose of tazidine for the Vibrio and chelate for the hemochromatosis. Now, Cameron, pick up the phone and give me a dramatic exit. Sorry. I don't know why I always suspect the worst. If you say you're not having an affair, you're not having an affair. <sighs> oh, God, you are. I'm not. Okay, sorry. Again. You don't want to tell. Okay. But I could help. Whatever this is, it's eating away at you. We could get past it together. I love you no matter what. We lose patience sometimes. One of those patients, Tabala, we didn't act, we didn't actually lose him. I killed him. <laughs> 